Hello everyone, it's me Wuggle here. Today I'm going to talk about why Object Lockout took two years to make and how I'm going to fix that going forward. So first let's go back in time to June 2018 when I first released, or when I just released Old 8. I began writing Old 9 at this time, but I soon realized that Object Lockdown wasn't the show I wanted to create. It was just another object show with a weird lockdown gimmick that didn't go anywhere, and a lot of subpar characters. That's why the scrapped Old 9 had a lot of changes to Object Lockdown, where I switched to Contestant Vote, removed the lockdown entirely, and tried making a lot of the characters more interesting. But it was hard. So, I spent some time working on this episode before I decided to scrap it and start working on Lockout. I didn't start working on Lockout until the beginning of 2019, because I was really busy with Troc and I put a lot of my free time towards that after Old 9 was like in the gutter. Uh, voice acting and storyboarding took the first half of 2019, and animation began around the beginning of June for Ola. Uh, the livestream animating Ola 1 was the first scene I ever did for the episode. I think I was about 20 seconds in at that point. I remember my goal was to get the episode out in 2019, but obviously, that didn't happen. There's a few reasons why. For me, it was just a weird time in my life. I was getting through the end of high school and transitioning to college. I also had a lot of personal issues and struggles I went through in 2019, and overall, I, was, I just wasn't that motivated to work on it. It just sucked because I knew I wanted to work on it, but I just couldn't. Um, starting in September, I started working on it a bit more, and around December is when I kicked it into high gear and started animating a lot. Most of the animation I did for the episode was done in December and January. Another reason why the episode took so long is that a lot of my co-animators weren't really excited to work on it. Um, a majority of the scenes for the episode that I gave to other people were either given to someone else to finish or finished by me. I think one scene in the episode was passed around five times, not even joking. I understand this is a project they were helping me with for free, but compared to older episodes, it was a noticeable decrease in interest for the project, and when it was something I was incredibly proud of in comparison to previous episodes, it made me upset. It was honestly a slog to get through some of the scenes I had to finish, especially the two minute scene that included the banana and grassy bit. I think having the experience of animating a more action-y scene like that was a good thing, but it just was a lot to have to finish. This pushed back the release by quite a bit, I was finished by, with all my scenes at the end of January. Now, here's how I'm going to hopefully fix these issues in the future. I'm going to be opening a Patreon soon, um, probably towards the end of this month. All the money I get from this Patreon will be given to my animators, none of it will be going to me, at all. This will be a better situation for everybody. Episodes will come out more frequently, I'll be able to pay my animators, and I won't be as stressed out. I want to stress this now, there is no obligation to pay for the Patreon whatsoever. I know there's a pandemic going on, and the economy isn't great, so if you can't support I completely understand. There will be some benefits for supporting the show on Patreon, which will go in detail in a standalone video. Um, so, that's really it, that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, I don't really know how to end this video. I just want to let you know, thank you for the support in episode 1, it means a lot to me, it's already almost at 100,000 views, which is crazy, and my channel's gone up by subscribers by a lot, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched and supported the episode. I know it wasn't the greatest episode, but episodes 2 and onward will be great. I know the right the writing is so much better, and I'm really I'm really excited to show them off because I think episode 2 is really good, really funny, and it makes sense. Because I know the cherry thing was kind of weird uh, how she got out, but I mean, I don't know. Stay tuned for that. It should be fun. Yeah, hopefully I can get it out a lot quicker than last time. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that again, but uh, there's nothing I could really do about that. I just it was it was a hard time for me. So Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.